bearded angel. In the arms of an angel. Hey guys, it's Saturday and it's actually already 3.30 right now and I'm just starting vlogging. I'm actually just about to start a slow cooker recipe that I've never done before and was suggested by one of you guys on Instagram. Holly, thank you so much for this recipe. It's smothered chicken burritos. That doesn't sound right. I'll look at the recipe in just a second. Really, I have not been feeling very good today. I've been feeling really, really nauseous yesterday and today because yesterday I had to double my dose of my medicine that I'm taking to get me started on IVF. And Grant's on call this weekend and he just got called in. We had some plans, but that's just how it goes sometimes. It's not a happy camper. Okay, I don't even know what I was talking about. I just stopped and said bye to Grant. It probably won't take him too terribly long, but I know he's disappointed just because he has already been at the hospital today and he was just getting ready to do something else. I know it's just annoying for him, but I forgot what I was talking about. So we're just gonna go ahead and start this recipe because it has to stay in the slow cooker for quite a while. It's called slow cooker smothered chicken burrito. So I was pretty close and it looks really, really easy. I'll go ahead and link this recipe in the description if you're curious. Obviously I haven't tried it yet, but it was recommended and it looks like it's gonna be good. And it also looks like it's very, very easy. So let's get this started. There are a few steps that I have to do later, but this is just what needs to happen now. All right, so I am gonna be doubling this recipe. It might be a mistake, it might make way too much, but the recipe says that it makes six servings and I wanna be able to have enough for dinner tonight and then several lunches throughout the week for me and Grant. So I feel like it's better to have too much than too little. So I've got my chicken, double the amount, and we're just kind of dumping everything into the slow cooker. And then next we're gonna be using two cans of fire roasted tomatoes. And then next I have two small cans of green chilies. Delicious, I love green chilies. It smells so good. And then last, I'm gonna be adding in two teaspoons of each of these spices. All right, here it is looking real pretty and I'm just gonna set it on high for three to four hours. Okay, as usual, I am going absolutely nowhere today, but I really like my outfit. I'm really just feeling kind of crummy today. I'm feeling like out of it, nauseous, not very many good things, but I do really like my outfit and it's kind of cheering me up. And I know I've told you guys that I have kind of a fascination with overalls and I've been looking for some short overalls lately and all the ones that I order, I don't like, but I love these. I think I finally found the pair that's right for me. I love the way they fit. They're comfy and they're loose in all the right places, but they're still nice and flattering. I love the cuff. I love the little pocket up front. And last time I checked, I think they are 25% off. I'll put the link in the description if you like them or you wanna check them out. And also, I got these new Tevas. You guys know I love Tevas. I know they're not for everybody, but these are the cutest Tevas I think I've ever seen. They have a really adorable star pattern on them. I got them in the color taupe, but they come in a bunch of different colors. I'm not showing you a super close up of my foot because nobody needs to see that. I really need a professional pedicure right now. So just take my word for it. They're really cute. I will put the link in the description if you wanna look at those and see all the colors. All right, we just got a big old grab bag box from Amazon. I opened it up and I saw there's a variety of things in there. Some things I remember ordering, some things I don't. I'm gonna open it with you guys because honestly, I'm just feeling crummy. I don't wanna sit down. I was planning on repotting my bromeliad pups. I'll show you them in just a second. Hi, do you wanna talk? <laughs> Luna is in this right now. Okay. We can pet her while we talk. So I was planning on repotting the bromeliads, but I don't know, I just feel like really, really drained right now. I know it's from the new medication and from the birth control, me and birth control just do not get along, but I know it's for a limited time, it's just temporary, I will be okay, um, but it's kind of just taking it out of me right now. And my stomach is settled right now, so I'm thankful for that. Let's talk about some Amazon stuff because I feel like I made some interesting purchases. How do I even open this? So I've been looking at a lot of different like massager options, some of them super expensive, and I haven't pulled the trigger on any of those. Why are you scratching me so much? You just want this? Do you want me to try it on you? She's very interested in this thing. So this 
I can't remember how much this was, but it's definitely the least expensive massage tool option that I've seen. And basically you just, is this doing anything? I'm gonna have to try it out with Grant in a little bit. We'll see what he thinks when he comes downstairs. Uh, the other thing that I got that is the most important thing that I got. <laughs> so in case you missed it, the last video I did was my mascara showdown. I asked you guys on Instagram what your top favorite holy grail mascaras were and I tallied up all the results and I tried out your top five and I figured out my favorite from your favorite top five and then I ranked them best to worst. In the comments of that video, someone suggested, I'm not sure if it was this exact lash curler, but she said in her comment that specifically a rechargeable heated lash curler changed the game for her. I've had heated lash curlers in the past, but they were all battery and they would always give out so quickly. They didn't work that well and I was always disappointed. I didn't know that there were rechargeable ones. Thank you so much to the person that left me this comment. I can't open it, it has stickers. Ooh, look at that. It definitely looks different than any of the heated lash curlers that I've used in the past. Lots of instructions. <laughs> the instructions are kind of confusing, not gonna lie, but we're just gonna try it out and just see what happens. Probably can't even see me. Let's zoom you in manually. Okay, that heated up so quickly. And obviously I already have mascara on, my lashes are already curled, so I don't know if this is the time to be testing it, but I can't resist. Whoa, I can feel the heat. The heat is on. You really have to go kind of slow and steady but I feel like I'm seeing a difference and I like it. I'm definitely looking forward to playing with this more. I'm not gonna like sit here and make you watch me do both eyes, but I feel like it's already working and I'm super happy. I'm gonna charge it more because it definitely doesn't have a full charge right now. Okay, and the last thing in this box are some pillowcases. I've already ordered some silk pillowcases from Amazon. This is a different brand though. I think I found these on like a bestseller list. I don't know, I, I found them on some list. They were super highly rated. And so I'm hoping that these are really good. We only have one set that I really like right now. So hopefully these are good, if not better. And I got them in space gray. There was a dark gray and then there was space gray. Didn't really know which ones to get. And I was like, Grant, which one? Space gray, dark gray? It's like space gray, always get the space option. So I think they look really good. I think the space gray was the right choice. I wanted them to be really dark, but not black, you know? And these look almost identical to the other ones that we have on the bed right now, except these I think are a little bit softer and they look good. I think these might be a little bit better quality. I don't know, we'll just have to try them out. I'm definitely gonna wash them before we use them. Okay, so that's it for the Amazon grab bag. I still wanna try this out though. Grant, my guinea pig is coming. I tried to test it on myself and it did nothing. Nothing? Let's see. Turn around. We're gonna do your back. Ooh, that feels really good. Does it? That feels really good. Really? Yeah, it's just the right amount. You're not pressing very hard at all, are you? I'm kind of pressing, but not super hard. Yeah. Oh, but it's nice. It's not too much. It actually, it tickles a little bit. Really? Yeah. Uh, but it feels better than just somebody's hands. That's, yeah, go up a little bit. Yeah. This went from a test to a <laughs> full-on massage real quick. Yeah, this is a must-buy. Really? Yeah, you do. I think okay, you're probably going to have to have somebody. You definitely have to have somebody. Let me see if I can do myself. Or you could put it on the ground and roll against it probably, <laughs> but it yeah, might maybe. move. That's a good idea. Yeah, you have to have You can't really. I tried to do it on my arm, which is a dumb place to do it, but it didn't really work for me. Okay. Let me show you. you feel that? Yeah. Ooh. Isn't that nice? And it's easier to use if you're the massager. Yeah. Because you're not having to like tire out your hands. You can't really feel that knot. Ooh, set. that feels good. Yeah, come over here. Yes. Ooh, I do like it. Ooh, I don't want you to stop. No. <laughs> I kind of had my doubts. Yeah, it's just like a simple little toy, but it does work. I know. But it's good for the person that's getting the massage and giving it. My Magic hands get kind of tired. Yeah. Luna was extremely interested in it whenever I got it out. I think she thought it was a toy for her. Apparently it's a hit. 
You know what I have totally forgotten to mention? I got my hair done, finally, professionally done. So I really, really loved the pink, but it was fading out and it was fading out sort of unevenly. It was kind of grabbing on towards the ends. And I'd had this appointment set for well over a month, probably two months at this point, cause I had to push it back. It was supposed to be last month and I just did not feel safe going last month. Um, honestly, I still don't feel safe going into a situation like that but everyone was in masks the salon had taken a ton of precautions to try to keep everyone more safe putting up barriers and stuff like that so i know they were doing all that they could and obviously i want to support my people i love emily i actually went to a new person that cut my hair so it's feeling so much more fresh and healthy and good i got my roots worked out because those roots were out of control and the other new thing that we did was she used a peachy pink or she mixed peach and pink toner together to finish off my hair and I actually thought it was going to turn out a little bit more pink and peach. Uh, I feel like maybe in this light you can't really see it but definitely in natural light during the day in real life you can really see the peachy pink tones and I think it looks really pretty and it was just kind of like tying together maybe the spots that didn't fully fade out because I didn't want to like put bleach all over my hair or even do a bleach wash to get the remaining pink out. It just wasn't important to me and above all else i'm always trying to preserve the health of my hair i got i think probably a little over two inches off so it's just feeling really 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 nice i think the last time i got my hair done was like five months ago so i went quite a while and i'm happy i feel like a new person we're on the car and the sun is still shining pretty brightly and i feel like you can see the color a lot better here it's definitely very like champagne rose gold kind of tone champagne champagne rose gold they gave me your stage name <laughs> already is I thought you could see it better in this light. I don't know if you really can. Right now we're heading over to Target because we need to get a card. Tomorrow we're going to a small family get together. Uh, it is Grant's cousin's 18th birthday and so we need to get a card and we need to get some stomach medicine for me because I've been having stomach issues because of this medicine. But even if it's like a five minute trip to Target, I am happy to get out of the house because I was feeling a little cooped up today. I wish we could go to the drive-in today. Yeah. I checked both the drive-ins in Fort Worth and in Dallas and they were showing very, very, very similar movies and they hadn't gotten hardly any new movies since the last time we went. But they did have Jurassic Park, which I would totally go see that on the big screen in a drive-in. I think that would be fun. But since Grant's on call, I don't think that's really an option. Ooh, the sunlight behind you. You look like an angel. Always. A bearded angel. In the arms of an angel. This is a big moment, our return to Target. All right guys, new summer trend, the topless hat. The sock choices are endless. I still feel like you should go for the frozen socks. Frozen two. Frozen two, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, Target has some pretty good options as far as planters and my eyes are always peeled look at these almost like a trazo effect they're kind of neutral kind of got a little bit of a pop of color and there's two of them so i feel like it's meant to be for those long grandpa cactus and there is a saucer whoa it's super heavy there is a saucer that looks like it's supposed to match, but it's a totally different tone. I really like this gray, but these two guys are definitely a lot more brown. Mm -hmm. The other planter I really, really love is this. Okay, honestly, one of my favorite activities is looking at cards. I feel like I'm kind of striking out here, but I just found this one that says it's from a pet, specifically from a cat. And I love this. 
I wish there was one from a chihuahua and I would totally give it to Grant. All right, we're back home and Grant is <laughs> reunited with his favorite kitchen tool the meat masher and we're gonna work on shredding this chicken it smells so good there's really no better home air freshener than a crock pot and i posted this on my story earlier today and i got so many dms about this crock pot and as far as i've seen i don't think i've ever seen you guys mention this crock pot ever grant said he's had it for maybe 10 or 12 years <laughs> A very long relationship, but I did find it on Amazon. So they're still cranking them out and they're still available. Um, so I'll put that in the description if you're one of the curious people asking about this crock pot. Oh, that was really easy. All right, so I've got Grant going, rolling up these burritos. I think we're gonna add a little extra cheese. The recipe didn't say to do that, but we like a little extra cheese, why not? And then I'm gonna start working on the cheese sauce that goes on top. All right, I'm adding in some butter. Good work. Now I'm whisking in the flour. Just in a cup of chicken broth. Now I'm just gonna let this simmer and thicken up for about five minutes. Okay, now I'm adding in my cheese and my sour cream. All right, and then now I'm adding another one of those baby cans of green chilies. Ooh, these are looking so good. I ended up adding a little jalapeno powder to the cheese, and now we're just going to drizzle it on. All right, I officially feel like I'm about to pop. We just finished cleaning up and eating. That recipe is so good. I definitely recommend it. But I wanted to show you this little PJ set that I got at Target. They had so many cute sets, but it looked like this was the only set that they had in my size. The top is just like a pink and white tie-dye. Obviously, we found a few things while we were there. I'll show you everything tomorrow, but I just thought the set was really, really cute and I wanted to try it on. Honestly, not really in the feasting mood. I thought I conquered it this morning for breakfast. You're gonna, you're gonna think I'm a monster for this, but I had a corn dog and a half of a protein shake, or actually I think it was a full pro protein shake, but Grant calls it a half protein shake because it's half of what he drinks, but it's really good. And it has a good amount of calories. And I don't know, I'm just trying different things to see how I can beat this morning nausea caused by the metformin and I thought it was working. I thought I found the key. Yes, I would totally commit to eating a corn dog every morning if it worked, but I don't know. I'm still feeling kind of off right now and I have zero appetite, but this does smell really, really good. And obviously I'm just gonna make myself eat because I'm sure I'll just feel worse if I skip eating. Yesterday, I didn't eat lunch. I just had some uh, pimento cheese. That's, that was my lunch. Just because I've just completely like lost my appetite. It's weird. I'm sure everybody that's actually done IVF and gone through the whole process is like laughing at me at this point because this has only just begun. This is basically, basically I've been taking this medicine for a week and a half and I've got a good like two and a half months ahead of me and a lot more medications, a lot of different stuff that I've never taken before and I'm sure that will come with a ton of different side effects and I'm sorry to complain, but I just feel like it's really just zapped me and I feel like if I just didn't say anything about it, you'd be like, what's wrong with you? Why do you seem so sad and weird? And so I'm just letting you guys know what's going on with me. I am still very excited to be starting this process. We got all the medication or we decided on a pharmacy because there's a lot of medications that you have to order and it's not just something that you get from CVS and there are a few different options. Our insurance doesn't cover any of it, but we did still have a few different options and we could compare prices because somehow the prices are different for the same medication. And we finally figured out what the best option was and we let them know and got them ordered and that's an exciting piece of the puzzle that's out of the way. I'm probably gonna have to call the doctor tomorrow and talk to them about how I've been feeling to just to see if I do need to be 
doubling my dose and taking it morning and night or if maybe I can just get away with doing it at night. I don't know. Obviously, I want to do the most I possibly can for the best outcome and obviously it's temporary. I can deal with it. Um, but we'll just see. Anyway, right now, I think we're ready to eat. Oh, I can hear your belly. It's very rumbly right now. Are you feeling okay? You sound very squishy right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picked that baby. up. Yeah. What is that about? Okay? Poor She's baby. Kind of sleepy, she? She's, good. She's always sleepy. <laughs> All right, so we're done with lunch. I kind of had to force myself to eat because I'm still feeling really crummy, but I'm feeling slightly better. So I want to show you everything that we got at Target last night because I feel like I found some good stuff. Okay, we've got one bag out here. This is all like kitchen and outside stuff and then another bag in the bedroom. So we'll just move along once we get through this stuff. First, I got two flavors of Quest cookies that I've never tried before, peanut butter and double chocolate chip. I've had the chocolate chip kind and they're pretty good. So I wanted to try these. Okay, next we have some treats. These are the Blue Buffalo Bites, the soft, moist training treats. Here comes Luna. She hears the bag, she knows the bag. Are these for you? <laughs> Do you know that bag sound? Really, anytime I open any kind of bag like this, she's like, mm, yes, I'm here, here I come. She absolutely loves these. She likes soft treats and they need to be small because she's small. And I give her a lot of treats all the time, especially when she's coming in from outside. I like to give her a reward. These are the beef ones, but it seems like she likes all the flavors equally. And honestly, she is kind of picky. In the past, she has smelled a treat and not taken it or taken it in her mouth and just let it fall out on the ground. She is kind of picky. Okay, next I got something that, to be honest, I don't even want. <laughs> I hate bug spray so much. And this is the Cutter Lemon Eucalyptus Insect Repellent. I've never tried it before, so I can't really vouch for it or anything. But last weekend in the vlog, when I was repotting my cactus, I got bit by a mosquito and I'm just not interested in messing with that at all. And I was planning on repotting more this weekend today, but based on how I'm feeling and we're going to this party and I don't really wanna get hot and sweaty right now, I'm probably not gonna do it today, but this will definitely come in handy because mosquitoes are a problem around here. Oh, okay, this is not for my dad. This is for Grant's dad, but this is the cutest card. Grant picked this one out and I absolutely love it. I'm kind of sad I didn't find it first. Target always has the cutest cards and I could look at them forever. I am so corny. I love looking at greeting cards. And I showed you guys this one while I was in the store. I was so happy that they actually had a saucer that went with it. I love this shape. I love the color. I kind of wanted to buy multiples, even though I do not need to. I need to slow down when it comes to that stuff. But the thing that I was really, really excited about is um, I've complained about this before in the past. Target does tend to have cute planters, but usually, in my experience, they don't have the hole in the bottom and you need the hole in the bottom unless you want to pot your plant into another pot and then put it inside a decorative one. And honestly, it's kind of just a hassle for me. I'd like to avoid it when possible. Um, so I was really impressed to see that almost all of the planters that I was looking at yesterday had a hole in the bottom and they had more than a few options of saucers, which I thought was really, really nice. So. If you are looking for planters right now, I feel like Target is now a good option, whereas it used to not be a very, very good option. So I'm happy to see that change. What else? Oh, two more planters. Okay, these guys are pretty heavy. I got two of them and I love the colors. I love that it has almost like a terrazzo effect. And there actually was a saucer that matched with these, but I didn't feel like we needed them because we we're gonna keep these outside. And I feel like these are gonna be perfect for planting those really tall furry cactus that I showed you guys last weekend. I got so many questions about those on Instagram. You guys are very interested in those guys. Um, I want them to be in their own planter because I feel like they could flourish. Hopefully they will flourish. I'm gonna keep these outside. I don't know, I just feel like these are really unique and I couldn't pass it up and Grant was really encouraging me to get them. So 
I bought both of them and they only had two. Okay, let's go look at the other stuff that I have in the bedroom. All right, here's my other bag. And last night I showed you that PJ set. The brand is Mighty Fine and I tried to find it online and I couldn't find a link. So I'll put a couple similar sets in the description. And I didn't show you last night. They actually come with two little cute bunny ear scrunchies like this that match in case you really need to match your hair accessory with your PJs. I also got these really cute Sugar Fix tortoiseshell hoops. They are super, super lightweight and also large and in charge, which I like. And then Grant got this collared shirt, which is very loud and in my opinion, very 90s. I can't even analyze this shirt. It is just a lot and I really like it. It caught my eye and I didn't think he would like it, but then he went right to it. So we kind of have the same taste. Speaking of having the same taste, we both went for this t-shirt and it is from the men's section. It's Levi's. It's just kind of like a worn in gray color. I got it in a medium and the front and the back have the same design and on the back it says coming in hot, which I love. I'm really not showing you this very well, but basically it's just an oversized t-shirt and that's the back. Okay, I didn't realize. All the rest are just socks that Grant picked out and some underwears. Not our business. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting rid of it. What? I'm going straight lace. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Beard reveal. Let's see it. Wow. I forgot I wanted to do a little point here. <laughs> you do? Really? Yeah, a little Van Dyke. Oh, wow. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't know. We'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll discuss our options. Do you yeah. feel five pounds lighter? Oh, I feel so much better. You do? Yeah, because it, it, it was like curling in on itself. And uh -oh. It was like just very like... Ooh, angry? Angry, yes. Oh, I liked it. I like this, but I like that too. Yeah. I peer pressured Grant for the entire time I've known him to grow out his beard mm -hmm. and it finally worked and he loves it. I just yeah. want that to be on record. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. takes about five years to pressure Grant into doing something, but once it works, he loves it. That's true. He will never admit you're right though. <laughs> also true. <laughs> All right, we're back home. We had a good time. I'm still feeling pretty crummy right now, but I want to do an experiment before I close out this vlog, before I close out this weekend. It's something that I've been meaning to do for so long. It's kind of an experiment, but kind of not because I've seen so many people do it on Instagram and on YouTube. This is a trick that's been around a very long time. I'm going to be tinting my brows with Just For Men. This is basically just a dye that works really well on a facial hair like mustaches and beards, but it also works really well for eyebrows. And apparently it's super quick, super easy. It lasts pretty well. Uh, I watched a couple of videos about it and people say that they do it about once a month, sometimes twice a month. That seems like a lot of maintenance. We'll see how much I actually like it. Obviously I have a bunch of makeup on right now. You will see me without the makeup with my natural brows in all of their glory in just a moment. Uh, I got the color light medium brown. Does his beard look like my brows? I feel like it's a pretty good match. And obviously this is my filled in look and this is the color that I like for my brows. I feel like it works for me. I feel like he could use some in his brows. Look at his brows. Pretty sparse, especially next to his very full, very thick, very, very filled in lower face facial hair. Give some love to those brows. Why not? Why not? I mean, I don't mean to turn this on you right now, but you can find this pretty much anywhere. I don't know if they have like the full color selection everywhere. I ended up just ordering it on Amazon, which was super easy. It wasn't expensive or anything. I'm stalling. I'm going to wash my face and then we're going to get started. Okay, here's everything you get in the kit. You get your developer and your color. You get a little brush, which is not super helpful in this application some gloves and a little tray so you can mix your color and from what i understand all you need is pretty much a little dot of the color and the developer it's a one-to-one -one ratio and i'm just gonna use the back of this little brush 
to mix it together. And to apply it, I just grabbed an extra little makeup brush that I have, a small angled brush that I think will be really easy to get it on my brows with. Okay, all my makeup is off. You can see what my brows look like naturally. Not super dark, not super light, but I feel like they could benefit from this, so we're gonna try it. Most of the people I've seen do this online use Vaseline to outline the borders of their brows, just so the dye doesn't migrate at all, or if they make a mistake, it won't stick to their skin. I don't have any Vaseline, <laughs> and I kind of thought maybe it would be a good idea to use chapstick, but I just don't even wanna deal with it. I'm just gonna be really careful. <laughs> Wish me luck. Wow, famous last words, right? I'm just gonna be really careful, because apparently this stuff dyes your skin as well as your brows. I'm sure it won't be too bad. And you're only supposed to leave this on for five minutes, so you've got to keep your eye on the clock for each brow. So I started this one earlier than this one and I'm remembering the time for both. Does anyone else love the smell of hair dye? <laughs> I got my hair done on Friday and I can still smell it in my hair and I love it. I don't know if it's specifically the smell of bleach or just all hair color. I think it's just all hair color. Okay, that went by really quick. This side has already been in for five minutes so I'm going to wipe it off. Wow, that is so satisfying and it took no time at all. That's amazing. That never happened. Basically instant gratification. Wow. I can definitely see a difference. <gasps> I love it. I feel like you guys are probably not going to be able to see the difference as much as I can, but I definitely see a good change. My brows are darker and I'm happy. I think I went a little harder on this side. It looks a little darker and I think it dyed the skin a little bit more than the other side. Oh my gosh. I definitely see a difference. <laughs> my brows look really dark to me right now and I really like it. I'm so glad this is a thing and it's so easy and it takes basically no product. I still have this much left in my tray. I don't know if you can see. I still have plenty left in my tray. So this tube or this kit is going to last me for a lifetime, even if I do this every single month like those other people said they did. Wow. It's such a good feeling when something actually works. I mean, it could go very, very wrong very quickly. So if you try this, be careful. But I mean, I was just like kind of careful and I think it worked out really well for me. If you want a little close up of my no makeup face, I can really see a difference. I'm happy about it. Have you guys tried this before? Have you guys tried brow lamination before? Like DIY at home. I've done it professionally and I made a whole video about my experience and I really, really liked it. But since I did my lash perm, I have been very curious if I could do my own DIY brow perm. I'm sure there's videos about it on YouTube already. I will do my research before I try it for sure. But now that I've done a tent, I'm drunk on power and I want more. Wow, the face oil is really shining in the moonlight right now. I can see my brows from a mile away. I definitely like them. I'm just taking Luna out one last time before I go to bed. I'm really tired. I'm definitely gonna be in touch with the doctor tomorrow morning as soon as possible to talk to her about all the side effects and stuff going on with me. Definitely want to get it figured out. I'm sorry. I know I was so low energy and kind of out of it this weekend. I'm definitely going to get to the bottom of it and hopefully get the medication worked out or just accept the fact that this is what it's going to be for right now and it won't be forever and just hopefully get more acclimated to the medication because that could also be it. I feel like I'm shining in the darkness right now. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you had a great weekend. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with all my new vlogs and all my new other videos. I don't even know how to describe my channel at this point, but I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks. I love you. Bye.